Hey, it's John from Revel Woods, and I got something for you. About a year or so ago, we launched our first ever resilient flooring collections, and honestly, it was a bit of an experiment for us. We've always been wood experts, and proudly snobbish about that if I don't say so myself, but people kept asking us for vinyl, so we said, yeah, all right, we'll try anything twice. It turns out you can do vinyl right if you pay attention to the right things. We launched with kind of a two-tiered approach, a high-end WPC and an entry-level SPC. Now, if you don't know what those letters mean, I will explain it a little bit later, so just stick with me. We learned a lot from that initial launch, and now we've got something new for you. After looking at our initial offerings, we thought, what if we could offer a premium floor, but significantly reduce the cost by removing some of the things that maybe people didn't need? The result is possibly the best bang for your buck that you can get in resilient flooring. We're calling it the Key Collection. Let me show you why it's awesome. First of all, let me get this out of the way, the name. The collection is inspired by the idyllic Ambergris Key off the coast of Belize. Pro tip, I know it's spelled K, and if you call it K, you're totally fine. You're not gonna confuse anybody, but the locals in Belize refer to it as Key, so that's what I'm gonna go with. Okay, so in order to get the best bang for your buck, we needed to identify what was most important in a resilient floor. Well, it's a great question, and truthfully, it's really only two things, look, and durability. We can't compromise on the look, right? That's non-negotiable. If it doesn't look good, it's a non-starter. It doesn't matter what else it does. The key collection is a total of 12 great looks. Nine of them are wood and three are gorgeous tile. It's even got that sweet bevel. Kids like the bevel. I saw that on TikTok. So the visuals are great, but let's talk about some of the nerdy stuff because we all know that's why you're really here and don't you dare try to deny it. The key collection is an SPC, which stands for Solid Polymer Composite. I've also heard it referred to as Stone Polymer Composite, because I believe it's made out of rocks, which is different from a WPC, which stands for Wood Pulp Composite or Wood Pulp Construction. So what do those differences actually mean? Well, SPC is typically less expensive to produce than WPC and tends to be a little bit more durable. So that's a win-win. Two wins, or as they say in Spanish, dos huevos. So if SPC is more durable and less expensive, then why would anybody use WPC? Well, truth is WPC tends to be a little softer underfoot. Personally, I can't tell the difference unless I'm comparing them directly side by side, like they were both installed in the same room. The SPC in the key collection is actually more stable than a more expensive WPC. So if you're putting it in a room that gets a lot of direct sunlight, for example, the key collection is going to be much less likely to warp than its more expensive counterpart. As far as ease of installation goes, each piece comes with a sound deadening underlayment foam automatically attached to it. So there's nothing else to buy there. And it's click locking construction means you don't need any glue or nails in order to install it. You really just need a measuring tape and a saw and you're in business and probably some knee pads and a bowl of M&Ms. Not because they're required for the flooring installation, just because they're a really good thing to have around at all times. Trust me. So we talked about the ease of installation. Let's talk about the top layer for a minute or the wear layer as the kids call it. We did something super cool there. First, let's talk about some general terms around wear layer. What does that actually mean? Wear layer is the protective coating that goes on top of the visual. It is measured in something called mils, which is not short for millimeter. They are very different things. A mil is one one thousandth of an inch, so it's much thinner than a millimeter. It's roughly the same thickness as a facial tissue. Final wear layers are all measured in mils. For example, an entry level product is gonna have something like six mils. More expensive products can be north of 20 mils. The more mils, obviously the thicker that top layer is. So most people look at that and understandably say, well, thicker is better and move on. Here's the thing though. Not all finish is created equal. Most vinyl manufacturers add a scratch resistant coating to that top layer to give it extra protection. Once you scratch or wear through that first layer, the extra layers of protection definitely help, but they're not as effective as that first one is, but they still significantly add to the cost. We realized we could dramatically increase the performance of the wear layer by adding a scratch resistant additive throughout the whole thing and not just on the top. Think of it this way. Think of a normal vinyl wear layer as a muffin with chocolate chips on top. The key collection is a muffin, but with chocolate chips throughout the whole thing. I think I'm hungry. 
three. Is it lunchtime yet? I am being told it is not lunchtime. And rather aggressively, by the way. Muffins aside, what does this actually mean for you? How thick is the key collection wear layer? It's not like we skimped on it. It's a 12 mil product, but it performs better than a 20 mil product with that scratch resistance only on the top all while costing significantly less. That's the thing, we didn't have to sacrifice anything, we just wasted less material. So what if you need something even more heavy duty, like you're racing greyhounds through your kitchen or whatever, I'm not judging, and you wanted a 20 mil product that has a scratch resistance all the way through? Well, we got you covered there too. That's actually the spec of both our American Railways and our American Monuments collection. Pro tip, anytime you see extreme scratch resistance on a product page, that's exactly what that means. Okay, that's enough nerding out for now. Order a key collection design kit today and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to schedule a call with one of our experts and we will help you find whatever it is you need for your project. Thanks, we'll see you next time.